Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will focus on Azure Resource Graph. Let's get started. So today's agenda, we're going to look at the following. What is Azure Resource Graph? What can I do with Azure Resource Graph? And then we'll cover one or two demos. So what is Azure Resource Graph? Azure Resource Graph is a service in Azure that is designed to extend Azure Resource Management by providing efficient and performant resource exploration. With the ability to query at scale across a given set of subscriptions so that you can effectively govern your Azure environment. So what can I do with Azure Resource Graph? With Azure Resource Graph, you can write queries against your Azure resource so you can gain some very insightful information into your resources. Before, it wasn't possible to see all of your resources if you had more than, say, 2,000. Queries that you write can be kept private or shared. Shared queries are stored within a resource group for other users to run. Resource Graph Explorer allows you to open existing queries, create your new queries and run them within the portal and see their results. Let's look at some demos next. In this first demo, let's look at a count of your Azure resources. As you can see, I've opened up Azure Resource Graph Explorer, and on query one, this is a simple query to return a count of all of your resources across all of your subscriptions. So if I just run this query, you'll see that we have 320 resources within our subscription. Very simple example of how to get started with the Custo query language. So let's move on to the second demo. Here I'm going to list all of our Azure resources ordered by name. So again, very straightforward. And again, we can see these list of resources. We can see the name, the type, the location. Next up, let's look at the total disk size consumed. So here we can see we have used up 3316 gigabyte. Pretty simple query. Next up, look, let's look at the disk count by disk state. Let's just run this query. So here we can see seven are reserved, three are unattached, and two are attached. Again, you can click on the details for more information. The fifth query, let's look at an example dashboard across all of our subscriptions. So in query number five, let's look at the final count of SQL databases. So we can see we have 10 basic, five system, one standard, and one general purpose database. That's across our entire subscriptions. And in query number six, let's count the number of SQL Server instances we have across all of our subscriptions. And we have 17. So from these queries, you can see this option down here. You can pin it to a dashboard. So let's look at an example dashboard built with several different queries. So this is an Azure inventory dashboard. So here we can see an Azure resource inventory. This section gives you an overview of all your Azure resources across subscriptions that you can access. So on the left here, you'll see a count of all my Azure resources. And if you click on this, it'll take you to the query, as we've seen before. This dashboard is built entirely from Azure Resource Graph queries built using the custom query language, and the dashboard itself is saved as a JSON string, which you can share with anyone as no resource information is stored within the JSON. The results are returned from the queries held within the JSON. Here we can see the Azure Compute Inventory. We've also got an Azure Storage Inventory, Networking Inventory, and a SQL Server Database Inventory. And last but not least, we've got an App Service Inventory. So this dashboard, saved as a JSON file, can be exported and uploaded to your subscription The JSON for the dashboard can be found on my GitHub at the following URL. I also have blogged about this, Azure Resource Graph Dashboards. So if you browse to my blog at gregorcity.com, you can read more 